times where I open the girl um, close to her and just because of my vibe, my energy, a little bit of physicality, it, it can become sexual very quickly. What's your process for how can how do guys approach from opening um, middle ground to closing? Like, what's your step by step formula, or what do you tell your guys? Okay, first thing I would say is like it's different for every man because everybody's got their own sticking point. Everybody has their own pros and cons. Like, again, I could look at one dude and I'm like, okay, his sub communication's on point. Or maybe he's almost like a little too socially too friendly of a guy. And that dude needs to portray more of like a masculine, you know, grown ass man kind of a vibe. That's like what he needs. Other guys, it's like, you know, maybe they've had a little bit of success with women. So they're comfortable escalating and stuff, but they don't know how to calibrate. They don't know like, dude, you're over escalating or what you said there, like creep the girl out. You should probably pull it back a little bit, you know? So it's like, for me to give some kind of cookie cutter advice, mm -hmm. it's just not applicable. You know what I'm saying? Especially like just between you and me, like I'm, I'm sure your style of game, your look, your vibe, your energy has its own, you know, aura to it. And, and likewise, mine it has its own aura and its own vibe to it. Both can be successful. Both have their own structure to it. But like to say that it's identical is just not true. You know what I'm saying? So it's like there's definitely some commonalities though. So I, I guess to... That was just a little side rant before I get into this, but let's look at some common things that I think just across the board are important to have. Okay. So number one is like open, strong, meaning all the fundamentals on point. Ideally you're going in with a good vibe, good smile, good energy, and not being emotionally reactive to how receptive the girl is. Okay. So like if I'm opening and she doesn't just drop her jaw at me instantly, I'm not like, in my head okay like i'm just out here putting out good energy and opening regardless of how she responds okay if it's good or bad i'm still the same dude i'm still with that energy and if anything my energy is probably going to overpower her frame if anything so open strong be prepared to continue the conversation be prepared to keep talking and engaging with the girl all right that's like man this is beginner fundamental shit just off rip next thing i would say at some point in the interaction though it does need to become man to woman. And there's a thousand different ways that could happen. It could happen just off of your sub communication and the distance you are to the girl. You know, there's times where I open the girl, I'm close to her. And just because of my vibe, my energy, a little bit of physicality, it, it can become sexual very quickly. Other girls, maybe it's not like that. Maybe because of her blueprint or her mood or the environment, I need to inject a little bit more of that. Maybe that's verbally maybe a little bit, you know, provoke a little bit more physicality, but like at some point it needs to become man to woman. Okay. Period. Like I said, there's a thousand different ways that could happen. I can't explain all of them um, right now, at least. <laughs> so I would say that uh, once you're at that point, you want to, man, I'm trying to really generalize this here. I would say at that point though, you want to create a little bit of a connection with the girl. Okay. That could entail moving the girl around, maybe isolating her, maybe going on an instant date, maybe bringing her over to the bar, maybe going on a walk with her. If she's in a hurry, maybe you just walk with her for a little bit. You're going to move with the girl and kind of build up a connection, some kind of commonalities, find out something unique about the girl, get to know her without pedestalizing the girl and find a way to like keep the vibe fun, flirty, a little bit of teasing, challenging, playful banter while we're connecting, connection building. From there, Depends on the situation. Some girls, they have a lot of time. Like we're at the bar. Maybe we could, you know, have a 30, 60 minute interaction. Other girls, they're in a hurry. They're on their way to work. So depending on the situation, we're going to proceed differently. So the next step would just be figure out the logistics, figure out the situation. You know, you could do this as early on as possible in the interaction, figure out how much time you got with the girl and then proceed accordingly. We got a lot of time. Cool. I'm going to play things a little bit slower, build up the vibe, maybe even seed the idea of us doing another activity later on. Maybe that's like getting drinks somewhere, getting food somewhere, going to smoke weed, smoke hookah, go to an after party, you know, check out my balcony view, 
some something like that, planting the seed in her mind of doing that activity. From there, man, I I don't know how long you want this answer to be, but I mean, <laughs> just kind of baby stepping it along here. So from there, it would just be you know either move to the next venue or continue walking with her, and then slowly close the girl, whether that's phone number or whether that's in person right then and there, moving back to your house. So um, that's a very brief three minute answer to how I would go from open to close. Um, now, so that's what the guys want. They want that detail. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But okay. Um, um, real quick, um, yeah. you're on man to woman. So for guys who don't understand what is man to woman? Um, what is man to woman? I would say it's making it non platonic. Okay. So platonic just means like a friendly vibe. Man to woman means it's no longer a friendly vibe. I'm communicating with this girl in a way that indicates we could potentially mate. Mm -hmm. that, that's what man to woman is. Okay. I like how you touched on that. And yeah. also, like, at the beginning, you touched on like every single person has different sticking points, different things that they're really bad at. And like the most important part, as you were saying in the beginning, is addressing what area you're bad at and figure out what your problem is. So like some guys, I know with guys that like focus on like indirect openers saying like, hey, do you know what the Nerik Starbucks is? The biggest struggle that they have is figuring out what, how to get the conversation from man to woman. So if that's your sticking point, figure out how to, how you can transition into that. So focus on what are you weak at right there in that moment. And then yeah. also like, um. Touch on approach anxiety. So what about, what about the guys who, like, they're hearing this, but they're still scared to approach? What's your recommendation for them? Cool. I want to touch on both of those things, actually, because you made up, you you brought up a good point right before that, which is, like, analyzing where you're at and determining what your current sticking point is and take and treating it just like a drill, like it's training, okay? Because wherever you're at in this journey, you have a certain sticking point. And I could tell you from personal experience, I've gone through every sticking point there was, like, literally, like... I was the dude that was afraid to even get into the interaction. Then I was the guy that was, I was able to open, but I, it, it was very platonic. Then the, the new sticking point was showing a little bit of intent, making it man to woman. Then the new sticking point was like, I was able to verbally do it, but I was actually afraid to touch the girl at all. You know, I just, I didn't give myself the permission to do that. I thought it would creep the girl out. And then eventually learning how to vibe and escalate and be flirty but I, I got to a point where I was being too much of this playful, cocky, funny douchebag that wasn't relatable to the girl. So I was having all this fun. I was creating a lot of attraction, but the girl would leave the interaction thinking I was some douchebag because there wasn't like, there wasn't a genuine connection there. Right. So then my new sticking point was realizing when the attraction and the value was in place and learning how to switch into becoming a more relatable normal guy that I can actually create a connection with the girl, you know, cause a lot of these PUAs, they become these like attraction, emotional spike guys that just, you know, they have all these push pull lines, but it's like, I was too gamey. There was a point in my journey where I was just too gamey. I was too cocky. Right. And then after that, it was learning how to pull, learning, realizing like, yo, you could bring this girl out of the venue right now. If you actually just tried, you know, I, I was the guy that would wait until the end of the night and the lights came on at the venue to be like, okay, so, you know, like what's good, you know? And then the girl would either leave or whatever. It wasn't until one time I got into an interaction where the girl actually pulled me very early on in the night I, and she pulled me out of the venue. And once that I saw that, I got that reference experience of like, yo, we could be moving girls like early on in the interaction. You don't need to just like chat with them and, and, wait till the end of the night to see what they want to do. Like you got to be the fucking leader and actually actively move the girl around, try to pull her out of the venue, you know, build up that compliance throughout the night. So I guess all I'm trying to say is figure out what your sticking point is right now and just train that one point. You know, it's almost like if I was learning basketball and my sticking point was like dribbling with my left hand, I wouldn't want to just practice running full court. Cause I'm only going to be able to dribble with my left hand a little bit in a full court game. Instead, I should really just take a basketball and dribble with my left hand alone on the court and treat it like a training. So whatever your sticking point is, treat it like training and go out with the goal for the night of like only hitting that sticking point. You know, if it's being man to woman, every interaction, find a way to like be a little direct. If it's moving the girl around every interaction, Try to just move the girl. Oh, we're talking. Oh, actually, it's, it's kind of loud over here. Let's move over a couple feet. Or 
whatever your sticking point is, like treat it like, like it's a drill, you know? And the other part of the question was dealing with approach anxiety. So again, this is just like any other sticking point that you would want to treat like a drill. So you want to baby step your way through the sticking point. So if it's approach anxiety, you, you're probably just afraid to talk to women or maybe even strangers in general. So the first thing I would do is just go out and try to have very short, brief interactions with people. Okay. It doesn't need to be sexual. You don't need to ask the girl to have sex with you. It's just giving yourself permission to go out and start to become social. So I do this in my, in my day-to-day activities, man. If I'm at the grocery store and I'm at checkout, start the conversation with the grocery store clerk, push the interaction a little bit further. Hey, what's up, man? How's your day going? Yeah, I'm good. How about you? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm really tired, dude. I had like a long day at work and I was like sitting in the car for five minutes before I even decided to come into the grocery store. But, you know, it, food's not going to cook itself. But I'm just starting the conversation just to be a little social. It doesn't, you know, no pressure. But again, you are what you do repeatedly. So if you want to become that social guy, you need to start being social. All right. From there, you want to get into doing some cold approach. Go to a place where there's a lot of people that you could start interactions. And again, it doesn't need to be a 30 minute interaction, but go up and start an interaction with a stranger. Hey, what's up? I just noticed you were like feeding the geese over here. Like, uh, are you out here a lot? I feel like it's, I don't know, like whatever comes to your mind, man, like whatever you see about the person, make an observational statement and start the interaction. Okay. And continuously push that comfort zone. So the next time you're in an interaction, try to have like a 30 to 60 second interaction. Do that a couple times. Give yourself the evidence it needs to see that it's okay to do that, you know? And then the next time you go out, push it a little bit further, right? Like, okay, well, I was already talking to a couple people for 30 seconds. This time, let's try to have like a two minute interaction. I keep running out of things to say after 30 seconds. What could I do? Uh, Well, I could have said this. I could have said this. I could have said this. So the next time I go out, I'm going to do those steps to keep it going a little bit longer. Next time you go out, okay, well, now I can talk to people a little bit, but I'm still afraid to make it sexual with the girl. Well, now we got to push that that boundary a little bit. So you start an interaction with the girl, and then at some point in the interaction, make a little flirty comment. Like, oh, I, I like your eyes, by the way. I just noticed it. But And keep talking. Get that reference experience. Push the interaction a little bit. And that's how you kind of work your way up through that social anxiety. You know, you don't have the evidence right now that your brain needs for it to think it's okay to socialize. Just like I didn't have it either. I was that video game nerd, afraid to talk to anybody, super shy. Oh, well, that's only for the popular social kids, right? But over time, I got the reference experiences. I studied the theory. I started getting more evidence that it was okay to be this guy. That's why Prince O said he hung around a guy that was a natural, right? Like he got the reference experiences that showed him like, yo, it's okay to do this. A lot of guys don't have that. Like I didn't have a father figure. I didn't have anybody showing me that it was okay to do that thing. So I managed to find a high school friend that pushed me into it. But even once I got into pickup, I was still a pussy. Like I had to hire a coach. I studied pickup for nine months and I didn't do one approach. Nine months of no approaching, just studying theory. And then eventually I was like, yo, I can't do this by myself. I got to pay. I paid a coach $1,500 for her to go out with him just for him to be like, okay, Go and approach that girl. You know what I'm saying? And I was so fucking nervous, man. Like so nervous. But I did it. And I gave myself the okay to do it. And then I got the reference experience that showed myself, yeah, like you can go and approach a girl. No one's going to kill you for it. You know? And over time, you just keep building that, building that, building that. And and here we are years later. Okay. It's just, it's the constant progression. And I'm, it's never like it's over. You know what I'm saying? Like we're going to keep progressing. Like Prince O, myself, five years from now, we're going to keep leveling the fuck up because dude, that's that's your duty as a man is to self-improve and, and just go out, conquer, dominate life, analyze yourself. What's the next level? What's the next step? What's the next step? 